As you know, you listen to the Real Talk Sports Show. I'm your host, the Minister, Jonathan Simmons, and uh, we're broadcasting you from the studios of WIGO. AM 1570, Atlanta's Incredible Radio. You also can find us on WIGOAM.com. Now, if you have your mobile device, no worry. Use your free tuning radio app and put in WIGO 1570 in the search engine, or better yet, put in Real Talk Sports, and voila, you will find us broadcasting to you right now. And for those of you who are privileged uh, to be watching us on video, you see that lovely face right there. I'm going <laughs> to let you see her by herself. Y'all don't need to see me. Uh, that is hilarious. I'm talking about the ultimate... <laughs> Blogger, the glam star herself has entered the building. Uh, the lovely Miss Kim Ford, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Well, sister, I, I'm excited because this this has been a like a like a four year uh, in the making here. Your schedule being so busy, yeah. And so we thank you that you took a little time out to come see the minister. I did. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I see well, you out doing your thing too. Well, you know, I, I just try to follow your footsteps wherever okay. you at. When I see you, I know I'm in I'm in the right spot. That's what I know. Right. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Well, listen, just tell people a little bit. Uh, you know, this is something that that you have taken really almost as I don't want to say a labor of love, but basically an idea that has now blossomed into you being really kind of this international force on the blogosphere and really anywhere where there's a big-time event. So tell us kind of what was the genesis. Yeah, um, I published JubileeMag.com. It's an online faith-based magazine for young adults between 18 to 39. And we cover truth, culture, and style. And the main reason why I started it, it was because when I rededicated my life back in 01, I didn't really see any media that represented my age demographic. You know, I saw individuals that tried to do it, but it wasn't done correctly. So, you know, my degree is in psychology. I didn't know how to do anything. So I just, you know, researched, prayed, of course, you know, asked questions, took maybe one or two classes. And I just sat down and figured out how to create a website that was way before WordPress and social media. None of that existed Amen. at that time. Right, that was so, back in the day. Mm, yeah, right. so you really, if you really wanted it, you had to make it work. So I just sat in front of a computer and figured out to, um, how to build my website, and I did. You know, I, I knew some friends having some events, so I asked to cover their events, and I did that. And so the first, this was back in 07, so the first um, major event that I requested credentials to cover was the BET Hip Hop Awards in 07. Um, I didn't think they would tell me no. You know, I, they didn't know I was new, just started. I just believed. So they gave me the, I got the email. I was so excited that they allowed me to come, so I went to the red carpet. You know, I saw 106 in Park set up. It was just like, oh, my God, I'm here. Now what? You know, I didn't know what to do, but, you know, I just watched the other professionals. So that's, that's like my golden, golden tool that I use is just to pay attention. So I just paid attention. I knew a little bit what to do, but everything else, I just watched what the other professionals was doing, and I just adapted whatever worked for me. And from each event to event, I just created relationships with publicists, some other artists, some other media colleagues, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I've covered almost, ev not everything, but a good amount of major themes. And, yeah, this, uh, you, you know, one of the things that uh, that has really excited me, I've kind of, I don't want to say, you know, been there at the beginning, but I kind of remember, uh, because I kind of really started going out to more events in around 09, I remember seeing you and seeing you again yeah. and seeing you again. I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, this young woman here, she, there's something going on here. And then, of course, I got a chance to look at your online magazine mm -hmm. and just give people, you know, it's a long list, but give people just some of the artists and some of the events that you covered mm -hmm. uh, with JubileeMag.com. Oh, yeah. I've interviewed everyone from um, Tyler Perry, um, Ludacris, T.I., um, Molly Music, um, you said Molly Austin. Music. That, that got excitement right there. We, <laughs> just, we got some Molly he's Music great. fans in the building, so you know, you did something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's great. Um so many people from secular to Christian, um, Wiz Khalifa, lots of people. And I've covered, of course, the BET Awards, BET Hip Hop Awards, Trumpet Awards, Dove Awards, Soul Train Awards, Billboard Awards, so many of those. And I'm just so blessed and honored to be graced to be able to do that. And when I went to the BET Hip Hop Awards, I was interviewing the publisher of The Source. And they were saying, I'm so happy to see someone of faith on the red carpet talking to these people because no one else is doing it. You're the only one. And that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to go to all the regular Christian events. I don't want to do anything, any of the traditional things. I want to reach those that are not thinking about setting foot in a church right now so I can be an impact to them and do it with love, not judgment, not just beating them over the head, but being genuine, keeping my outer great, but I have even more so on the inside to share with them. So that's why I do why I do. That's what interesting do. because that really kind of was the, my question, kind of what was, first of all, 
you talk about this broad, you know, uh, experience of events. I mean, you covered the Dove Awards. If some people don't know what that is, Dove Awards are. Let me let me try to be real ginger. How I explain this? Dove Awards are what they call uh, uh, contemporary Christian music. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, a predominantly white version of what we do at the Stellar Awards. I guess that's the easiest way I can say it and be yeah. politically correct. It's the um, CCM version. There you go. If you know what CCM is. Right. <laughs> Contemporary Christian music, guys, yeah. for those who mm -hmm. don't know what that is. Um, but you've done that, done the Stellars, obviously, but also the Hip Hop Awards. And a lot of people would, would think initially Christians at that. Yes. But yeah. we're everywhere. Yeah. I mean, when I'm there, I, it, there's plenty of believers on the red carpet. I've interviewed Dr. Bernice King on the carpet. She's walked. Lecrae is, you know, has been on the carpet. He's right. performed in the cypher Absolutely. on the show. Right. That's where we belong. So, you know, that's where I belong. That's where I fish, you know, with those type of people. That's what my demographic is. And, you know, I know how to speak to them. I know how to relate to them. You know, God has just given me that insight and that wisdom and that passion for that age demographic and to be in those places because I want to be with those who don't know. If you're in church or whatever, it's Probably likely that you understand, you know, maybe you got some kind of bearing on what's going on. But I want to be around those that aren't thinking anything about Christ. Or maybe they have and they backslid or right. strayed away. Which a lot of people, especially in the music industry, right. have. Because they started in church. And for whatever reason, you know, and it's okay. Whatever, if God has called you to only serve in church, that's fine. But if he's called you to serve in music, wherever, outside of church, that is perfectly fine too. However... It depends on the message, but if they're if they've just totally left it, a lot of times just by me planting the seed, by asking them questions about their project, questions about, you know, how faith has played an important part in their life, that opens up the door, and you you just never know. And I've experienced it where they they want to talk about their faith, they want to talk about Christ. Nobody's just asking them those questions; they're just asking them about their hot new track, you know. They're, a lot of them are empty on the inside, so whenever they have that opportunity to, opportunity to express their faith or recognize they need to know more about their faith because they can't really articulate it, that's what I'm there for is to plant that seed that, you know, maybe or maybe someone else planted the seed. Maybe I'm just there to water that seed to remind them, Amen. you know, that everybody ain't in the club. You know, everybody's not having sex with everybody you can, you can think of. Everybody is not doing that. There are some people that really Try live, live this right. lifestyle, right. that really want to serve, that really want to be an example and a billboard for Christ and his lifestyle. And, you know, I just want to be that person, not saying that I am perfect because I'm not. However, I have accepted the call to be that billboard, to, to, to be that, that bridge to those, to those individuals. Okay. Yeah. All right, Kim, you got a new book coming out. Tell us a little bit about that real quick and give us the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new book, um, my first book, mini book, is called Never Too Late, you know. And doing all the things I've done, the interviews, and just all the things I've learned over the years. I see people giving up in so many areas, whether it's their faith, their dreams, loves, getting over their past. So I wrote a, my first book is about that. And my second one that's coming out is 30 Things Women Should Know Before Turning 30. Amazing things. I can't wait to put that out. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to come back for that one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but make sure you follow me at I am Kim Ford, and you can get all that info there. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, you have been listening to the Real Talk Sports Show. Listen, I, I like to tell you every week before I go, all the stuff we talked about, the big thing is you need an anchor, and that anchor is Jesus Christ. If you don't know him as your personal Savior, please, ma'am, please, sir, get to know him because he loves you more than anybody. Well, listen, you know I like to end the program every time I go. I just want to tell people, old school preachers, always grateful to be here. Have a blessed one, and have a great night. You missing her?